Okay, so you want to build a clean, professional-looking resume using Google Docs that can be scanned by ATS systems and is also easy for people to read. In this video, we'll show you how to create this professional-looking resume in roughly five minutes. Okay, let's get into it. Starting from a fresh Google Doc, the first thing you want to do is change the margins of your resume so you can buy yourself as much real estate on the paper as possible. To do that, go into the upper left-hand corner and click File, Page Setup, and right here, you can change the margins to be whatever you wish. Typically, I like to go with a half inch margin all the way around and we'll click OK. So the next step is to add your content, starting with your contact information. Please note, in this example, I'll use Google Docs default font, but we'll put a list of suggested resume fonts in the description because there is a debate as to which font is the best one to use. So how about we go up here and click on this align and indent icon and choose the centered option. Then we'll type out our name along with our contact information. And while we're typing this out, one thing you want to consider is your location. Make sure to include your zip code because hiring managers do search for candidates by zip. All right, so once that is complete, how about we take a moment and format our name by making it bold and changing the font size. Depending on the font you use, anything between 18 to 20 point is good. All right, this first section is complete. So the next part is to add in our work experience, education and skills. So how about we press our enter key once or twice to buy us some room. Then we'll type out experience. At this point, you have a choice. You can either leave the text centered or change the alignment to be on the left, which is my preferred choice. No matter which alignment you choose, how about we make the text bold, change the font size a bit, press enter a few times because that will make our lives easier as we move forward. Then apply a paragraph border to give us a line across the page. To apply the paragraph border, first click on the text, then Click Format, Paragraph Styles, Borders and Shading. In the dialog box, how about we go with the bottom border and give the line a weight of 1.5. Okay, looks good. From here, we can copy the underlying text, then paste it by pressing Control V. Make sure to press our Enter key a few times. And how about we paste that section once more? The next step is to edit the text. So we can change this section to read Education and this last section to be Relevant Skills. All right, so we've created all the sections in our resume. From this point, it's just a matter of filling in the blanks for each of our sections, which really boils down to typing everything out and converting it into a bulleted list. There's only one part that is a little bit funky, which is working with tabs, and we'll show you how to handle that in a moment. For now, make sure you're in the experience section and let's type out the name of our most recent employer. Once that's complete, our next part is to add our employment dates over here on the right. The best way to do this is to use a specific type of tab called a right tab because the tab acts like a bracket and forces your text to flow to the left. I know, it sounds odd and counterintuitive, yet once you see it, you'll understand. To set the tab, let your mouse glide up on the ruler, do a right click, and look for Add Right Tab Stop. Go ahead and choose it. What you should see is a tiny blue triangle that points to the left. From this point, go ahead and press the tab key and you'll notice the cursor will jump over to the right hand side of the page. And as you start to type out your dates, the text will flow to the left because of the tab we just set. By chance you ever want to move the tab stop, just hover over it, then click and drag to reposition everything. All right, from this point, we just need to add in the work details, which is just a bunch of typing as we mentioned. So I'm gonna add in some content while I fast forward the video to save us some time. All right, after the content has been added, the next step is to convert this type text into a bulleted list. We can do that by first selecting the list, then go up here, choose the bulleted list, and that's it. From here, it's just a rinse and repeat with any additional work experience. Okay, so the work experience is done. Now let's take care of the education section, which is very similar to the experience section. How about we click down here and type out the name of the school we went to, then go up to the ruler to set the right tab, then press our tab key, then we can type in our dates. Next, press enter to type out our major, followed by our GPA, and perhaps any academic achievements you want to showcase. In the last section of a resume will be our skills section, of which I'd recommend doing something a little different. Most people will create a multi-columned bulleted list, which is fine, yet a better idea would be to list out your key skills relevant to the job. Then type a brief statement describing how you use them because employers like to see how your skills directly transfer into the job. And it also helps hiring managers visualize your capacity to do the job. So we can go with something like this. Type out our first skill, then a description, rinse and repeat, 
Okay, so things are starting to look pretty good, and for the most part, we are done. Now, it's very common that when you submit a resume, it's going to get rejected. So, here is a video that will walk you through some of the biggest mistakes candidates make and how you can avoid them.